What up, y'all? Your boy Brick Street Sprite in the building, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. Baby, A Ward Riggs, man. I just watched A Ward Riggs. It was a fire battle, man. Both of them came with it, dog. Fire, 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 fire. Smaller league, I can't remember the exact. Clone was hosting it, so. And A Ward said something about Clone paying him in the battle. So I don't know if it's Clone's league. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to the league, but I watched the battle and uh, it was a good back and forth, man. You know what I'm saying? Fire. I wrote some bars down. Um, let me see, man. The first round, your boy Riggs sets it off. Takes a different angle on A Ward a little bit anyway. He talked to A-Ward in this whole, I don't know about a different angle, but just did it a little differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, he talked about God. He talked about that stuff. But he did it from an angle of, I don't need you to save me. More or less, I got it more figured out than you. I'm going to try to save you type shit. Or I'm going to talk to you about how we not that much different. I got it figured out. more. I feel, And I feel like I got it figured out a little more than you. You know what I'm saying? And maybe I can, maybe I need to teach you a few things type shit. You know what I mean? Like comparing, you know, the gang shit. That was more in the second round. The gang, the comparing the gang shit to religion. You know what I'm saying? But the first round, he kind of set that up. You know what I mean? Speaking on, uh, speaking on just, just Christianity in general and just, and just, which people do to A Ward a lot, but he just did it differently from a standpoint of, I don't need you to save me. I don't need that advice. I don't need because of this, this, and this, this reason and this. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it was a different approach, man. You know what I mean? But, but it was similar but different. Like he, he, he put his own little spin on it. He, 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 he said some pretty deep things in this battle. But, but, um, I thought it was a good round, strong round, but a beatable round, and. That's what A Ward did. He came out swinging, and he won that fucking round. First round went to A Ward. He came out just clowning, talking all kind of wild shit. Obviously, he go he he always takes a few different approaches as far as like talking to somebody's soul a little bit here and there. You know what I mean? He always sprinkles that in. You know what I'm saying? But he was clowning, cracking jokes, and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Just rebuttal. Right off rip. He was rebuttaling all kind of shit. You know what I mean? And uh I think A Ward took the first round. I think A Ward took every round. But I don't want to make it sound like it was a like it was a dirty ass 30 because it wasn't. Riggs showed up and did his thing, man. It was a dope battle. You know what I'm saying? Like you could definitely edge him around. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really feeling, it's a really a preference battle. Like, to me, it's a bit of a style clash. They both are, 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 they, they, they do a few things that are similar, but they also, they also, the way they package it and the way they deliver it is completely different. You know what I'm saying? There's not, they're, they're not, there's nothing similar about the way that they package it and the way that they, the way, some of their approach to writing is isn't always that different but the way they package it and deliver it is way different and perform it is way different you know what i'm saying so there it's a bit of a style clash and uh i just thought it was fire man it was a fire back and forth a board just happened to edge every round you know what i'm saying i did i just wanted to make it clear that rigs didn't get washed you know what i'm saying in every round and you could edge i mean if it's a preference battle. If you feeling Riggs, you could damn here edge him in every round. I edged A Ward in every round, but someone else may edge Riggs in every round. You know what I'm saying? Because the angles and the and the approach that he took to the battle was pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? I just thought A Ward said a lot more, and A Ward had a lot more punches and hit with a lot more impact and umph. You know what I'm saying? Behind his shit. You know what I mean? His shit was hitting way harder. You know what I mean? His punches, his rebuttals, he did way more. Like I like the the angle that he took, that Riggs took, and the approach he took to the battle, and the angles that he chose to to attack. But I. I, I just think that A Ward did more. He used some angles, he used some punches, he used everything in his arsenal. Rebuttals, he was rebuttaling, freestyling. His he rebuttaled like 
that whole it may have been the third round when he was talking about how uh when Riggs was talking about how um like he was comparing gangs it was the third round when he was comparing gangs to uh to uh to Christianity. You know what I'm saying? And it was fire, but um A Ward at the beginning of his third damn near rebuttaled that whole fucking scheme. You know what I mean? Like which was like half of dude's round, half of Riggs round, damn near his whole round. He rebuttaled by just basically his whole round. A Ward rebuttaled his whole fucking round in in like the first eight bars. You know what I mean? And then went off on his shit. Like, let me tell you about something that I know. And that's battle rap. You might could tell me about gangs and this, that, and the third. He was like, yeah, you might have 30 Christianity and 30 Christians and God, but you losing to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he always says, you end up battling God, but lose the battle to me. He was like, you you probably 30 God and Christians, but you, you losing this battle to me, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. But that was just fire. He rebuttaled like the dude's whole shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving to the basement real quick. But yeah, man, I thought that was fire the way he did that. You know what I'm saying? But I got a word 3-0, man. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't want to make it sound like it's a dirty ass 30. That's all I was trying to say. You know what I mean? But I did write some bars down, man. You know what I mean? This was a fire battle too, man. You know what I'm saying? But I did write some bars down. Let's see where we at, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. My bad. I don't like to put it down, but I got to find where I wrote that shit down at. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. All right. He said... He said, you lack demand. This A Ward, this A Ward, y'all. You lack demand, and that's why you don't fill Beasley list. He can't get it in. No one wants to lock in a match with little measly rigs. The new class already lapped you and made it look real easy, kid. <laughs> Real sick, easy to block, kid chaos, you know what I'm saying? He said, you lack demand, that's why you don't fill Beasley list. He can't get it in, no one wants to lock in a match with little measly rigs. The new class already lapped and made it look real easy, kid. Damn, man. Damn. That boy A. War be snapping, bro. You lack demand and that's why you don't fill Beasley list. He can't get it in. No one wants to lock in a match with little measly rigs. The new class already lapped you and made it look real easy, kid. Real sick, easy to, easy to block, and kid chaos, man. That boy A Ward be snapping, man. I only wrote a couple, but um, you lacking the flavor. What'd he say? Hold on. Oh yeah, you lacking the flavor. How long? You lacking the flavor. How much longer you think Smack's gonna pay you? He puts you on average cards with no promo because you average player. You carry no weight. How your name Riggs and you rarely attach to a trailer. Man, how your name Riggs and you rarely attach to a trailer. He said you carry no weight. How your name rigs, because a rig is normally attached to a trailer, and his 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 name is never attached to a trailer for any kind of a big event or a big card or any kind of promo. You know what I'm saying? That shit is fire, fire, man, fire, dog. <laughs> that boy be snapping. I wrote down a longer scheme too, I think, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, man. My bad. I'm a little blue out and shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, what I smoking the white runts, man. The white runts. I could probably show y'all some in a minute. Where did I put it? Hold on. But hold on, man. Hold on, man. They crucified my savior. That's something they was dead wrong with. 
Them nails were a press on kit. Them nails were a press on kit. You get it? Like when they crucified Christ, they nailed him to the cross. He's saying them nails were a press on kit, like press on nails. Like when a girl gets her, you know what I'm saying? Presses some long nails onto her fingernails. Press on kit. Know what I mean? They crucified my savior. That's something they was dead wrong with. Them nails were a press on kit. Buried them. Resurrected. Yes, God lives to show the tomb family matters. I mean, he went in and came out smoother than Stefan did. Your set's gone, you ex con, you got the tech on this. We cool, but don't relate. Like your stepmom kids. Shh. Clone paid me to show you the gap between us. I catch on quick. And for the bills, this separation looking like Stefan Diggs. Yeah, yeah. For the bills, for the paper. Or for the bills, for the Buffalo Bills, this separation looking like Stefan Diggs. Obviously a receiver for the Buffalo Bills. You know what I'm saying? Fire, man. Fire, 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 man. Fire. He said, we cool, but don't relate like your stepmom kids. He said, your set's gone, your ex-con. You got the tech on this. We cool, but don't relate like your stepmom kids. Man. He said, your set's gone, you ex-con, you got the tech on this. We cool, but don't relate like your stepmom kids. That's just a dope sequence, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, his writing process is fire, man. Just saying. Like, he's a fire-ass writer. He's low-key, man. Like, one of the most fire people not on smack. You know what I mean? That that has yet to, yet to, to come over, to cross over to the evil empire, which is smack. You know what I mean? Just because they be doing motherfuckers dirty. I love Smack. I love URL. But he's the only one. He, not the only. But he's like the most fire motherfucker that's yet to make that crossover that could and will. Like I know there's a bunch of fire motherfuckers. Immaculate. The sort. Legends that never made an appearance on fucking Smack. But I don't know if they ever will at this point. I'm talking about people that still could. You know what I'm saying? And will. And are trying to. You know what I'm saying? So yeah man. Um, A Ward is one of the most fire in the game. I'm looking forward to that battle against Ill Will. I already bought that fucking pay per view. I bought the John John the Don pay per view too already. Actually, I bought it like, like I thought the battle for some reason I was blew out yesterday and thought the battle was going down yesterday. I knew it was going down on the 20th, but for some reason I may have thought that was the 20th yesterday or whatever. I had my shit mixed up because I've been my my day's been mixed up lately, man. But anyway. I, uh, so I bought the pay-per-view thinking that it was popping in like a couple hours at like one o'clock. I was like, damn, it says three o'clock. Okay. And then I realized it was the following week. I even said something in the, the loaded Lux bar breakdown. I did. I, I broke down the GOD shit last night and I even said something about the John, John, the Don battle. And now I feel kind of stupid just cause, I, but I was just blew out, man. Y'all know I'd be smoking this shit. So give a motherfucker a break. You know what I mean? But anyway, Anyway, man, um, like I said, I already got the pay-per-views for both of those. You know what I'm saying? So just waiting on that shit, man. And uh, obviously, man, this battle was fire. Check it out. It's a fire back and forth. I'm also about to watch The Real Sick and uh, Sneezy Bo or whoever the fuck he was battling. Um, I'm going to watch that shit and do a recap on that as well. Holla at your boy. Brick Street Sprite, Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. Like, subscribe, comment, man. Y'all already know the deal. Holla at your boy. I'm about to go smoke another one, watch this other battle, and do another recap, man. Holla. 100. And let me know what I should do as far as bar breakdowns. Let me know if it's something that y'all want broken down. I was thinking about doing the uh, the Method Man shit that, against uh, Math Hoffa just because it was fire, and I think it deserves a rewind. So... Let me know what y'all think. 100.